Welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Webinar. This is Laura Lynn O'Keefe and this will be this year's last Wednesday webinar, but I wanted to make sure that you knew what was new for 2018-19 in CTE. This year, the Perkins Consortium with ESU 1 and ESU 17 are going to provide a blended learning and project-based learning seminar. This three-day seminar will talk about collaboration. It'll talk about project-based, challenge-based learning and incorporate technology and blend in learning. Do you currently collaborate with other teachers on projects? Would you like more tools to enhance your project-based activity? Have you thought of starting a community garden? Have you thought about working with business students to open a business and selling your industrial arts project? Do you have a school greenhouse and would like to collaborate with family and consumer science for produce? Would you like to sell plants to the community, start a business plan with business students, create a marketing plan, pair with local experts with your students to solve real-world community problems? These are all examples of project-based learning activities that it incorporates community involvement and blended learning how to really incorporate that technology within your classroom to enhance those projects. If you've said yes to any of these questions, join us. Incorporate or enhance a project challenge-based learning in your classroom. Maybe you've started one and you want to enhance it, or maybe you've had an idea and this will give you time and some extra funds to be able to do that. You'll be able to integrate technology throughout your projects and collaborate with fellow teachers. So what's in it for you? First of all, money to spend on your project. Second, time to work together to create. And a group of professionals to help guide you through the process and provide tools and ideas. What's in it for your students? This is a great opportunity to have hands-on, minds-on projects, real-world problems, and student design solutions, as well as connecting with the community. We are looking for teams of two to four educators. This could be um, a CTE teacher, two CTE teachers working together. This could be a CTE teacher and a core teacher. Maybe you've been wanting to incorporate geometry and construction. Maybe you want to look at um, kitchen chemistry. How can we create um, kitchen chemistry projects? Or Maybe it's your CTE teachers and your fine arts teachers. Maybe you're working together to create welded art projects that are pulling together these, these two areas. Or maybe it's a, a group of more than just two and you want to do a larger whole school, larger project. There are three face-to-face -face meetings. They will be held in the Lifelong Learning Center in Norfolk. The three days are listed below, and we do ask that you commit to all three days. Carl D. Perkins funds are available for school teams to participate. They will pay your travel expense to and from Norfolk, and you will be able to create your project, and then you will have $2,000 per team to purchase specific project or specific supplies that would enhance that project. The best part about this is you will have on-site guidance from the blend ed and project-based learning specialists from your ESU. So, how to register? You can follow this bit.ly. We also have more information on our ESU website. Applications are open now and will close the 30th of September. It is first come, first serve, and it will close when we are full. The second thing I want to make you aware of that will be changing in 2018 are our professional development grants. In the past, there has been money set aside for specific professional development. This year, um, the money is a pocket of money for any 712 career technical educator, any 712 counselor, or any 712 administrator that is using their professional development to support CTE. There is $1,000 available for professional development. 
this gives you the opportunity to use your professional judgment to determine if you want to go to local, regional, state, and or national professional development opportunities that supports your curricular area. The monies, again, are on a first come, first serve basis. You can apply to go to multiple professional development opportunities, but you will not be given over $1,000 in a program year. Um, the applications will open August 1st. The conferences, if you want to go to a professional development conference, must be attended between August 1st and June 10th so that we can get these monies allocated and expended. Application is again on our website, but there is also a link here to a bit.ly that you can apply. You can um, look forward to getting more information about this. Start looking for professional development activities that, that would support your curricular area. And a last reminder, the special projects grant closed June 1st. If you have any questions or need the link, Special projects grants are up to $3,000 and they support innovation, enhancing, or expanding projects within your program area, your program of study. There is a lot of money available. Please find the application on our website or give me a call. For more information about our blended learning, project-based learning, Give me a call. Molly Ashoff would also be a good contact. I hope you have a fantastic summer and enjoy.